In today's digital world, screens are all around us. Media is ever present. It's always there. Fairview um, Health pediatrician Adam Foss says it's one of the biggest concerns from parents these days, wondering how much time they should let their kids spend in front of a screen. Under 18 months of age, really there should be no screen time. That's according to the American Academy of Pediatrics, who also says 18 to 24 months, it's okay to start introducing screens to your kids in small doses. From two to five, you can increase that amount to about an hour or two of educational programming per day. After that, the recommendations get a bit more complicated. Kids are going to have to do homework on computers. That's just the way of life. Foss says studies now suggest it's not so much the amount of time your kids are spending in front of a screen, but how kids are engaging with that content. The Academy says using a screen for schoolwork is different than just staring at a screen. They really showed a great difference between how their brains were wiring. Foss says limits on educational use aren't as much of a concern, but non-educational use should be limited to about an hour to a day. And if your kids are using a screen within two hours of bedtime, he suggests turning down the brightness so they can fall asleep better. It can really limit your ability to go to sleep. Apple just announced a new feature on its smartphones where users can actually monitor their screen time in an effort to limit technology addiction, something that's especially concerning for school-age kids who now have plenty of time on their hands during summer vacation. Really limiting other things such as social media and other forms of media, usually to less than one to two hours per day. Now we wanted to hear from our viewers about how they limit screen time with their kids. Jeremy said on Facebook that he limits his kids to about an hour a day saying life's too short to not enjoy what he's calling reality. Wild Dad sees the new technology as offering learning tools that we've never had before. Brian agreed with him. He says that there shouldn't be any limits with educational. They should have free reign, but for everything else, he says limits are very important. And all the parents of teenagers out there are saying yes, but so hard to enforce. Thank you, Gordon. Good information.